All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the GMS North Carolina Cat back with another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, Dabar, Star Apostles, and Elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings to the full light of the nation of Israel. Today, through the Spirit and Power of by Shema Shai, basically going to go into a lesson. Uh, 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 you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are trying to find rest here in the land of your captivity. You're seeking for rest when you're supposed to be seeking for the Lord, you know? You're supposed to be seeking for the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, whose true names in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, and the only begotten, uh, that's the Heavenly Father, and the only begotten Son name uh, is our Lord Yahweh Shai, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you know? So this brings us to my first scripture. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. So lucky, okay, let me get it. Yeah, because the majority of our people, they're trying to find rest here. They're, they're seeking to find rest, seeking, seeking to find comfort. When ultimately you're supposed to be uh, uh you can you're supposed to be getting comfort from these these script these scriptures and seeking to get out of here, get out of the land of our captivity, you know? This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, so the scripture is talking about arise and depart, you know? It's talking about uh, a spiritual departure, you know, uh, um, uh, departing from the ways, the customs, the philosophies, the, um, the false doctrines that are promoted here in America, you know? And what you're supposed to arise and uh, and wake from that dead state you're in and come seek the Lord. This is Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, America is not our rest. This is not where we're supposed to be seeking rest. This is a land of our captivity. We were brought over here. Why? Because we broke the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, and in turn, what we discontinue from our heritage, and we are slaves. Under the under the red Hebrew Edomites are uh, who you know today as the so-called white man. This is Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, so we're not supposed to be um, trying to get a four hundred one k work at a job just to retire with our four hundred one k. We're supposed to what be hastening the day of our Lord. You know, doing everything we can before the Lord comes back. And it reads because it is polluted. Yeah, this place is polluted. It's polluted with the with the different. It's polluted um, spiritually and physically. Physically, it's polluted with the blood of the Israelites when the um, when the Native Americans and when the Northern Kingdom when their blood was shed over here. You know, in the Americans, and um, it's polluted with all the different philosophies, different all the di with all the false doctrines. You know. The um these um how these false pagan idols are are, um, are promoted here. That is the way it is per, uh is polluted. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Yeah. So if you continue, if you don't want to rise and depart out of this place, what this place is gonna uh, it, it already has destroyed our people. But at least you rise and depart and uh, repent back and seek you out by Shema Shai, you're gonna be destroyed. You know. This is the book of. So yeah. Because what? This is the land of our captivity. We were brought over here to serve a punishment. This is Brook chapter 3. I'm sorry, verse 7. And for this cause thou. This is Brook 3 7. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name. Yeah, and that's what's happening. With the men around the earth that are waking up, the Most High is putting that fear, uh, the, the putting that uh, fear, instilling that fear back into our minds, you know, to fear His name, fear Yahweh Shema Shai, because He's the one that kills, He's the one that makes alive, He's the one that's going to bring judgment to this place uh, called America in these last days, you know. This is Brook 3 and 7. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our heart to the intent that we should call upon thy name. And praise thee and 
Sakia. And praise thee in our captivity. Yes, we are to praise Yahweh Shemel Shai in our captivity. Where is that at? In America, we are not supposed to be getting comfortable. We're supposed to be seeking Yahweh Shemel Shai. Um, quick precept. Um, this is, um, Sakia. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. Yeah, the knowledge, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is out on the highways and byways, out on the internet. The Most High is making it uh, readily accessible, very easily accessible for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, if you've, um, if you've come across uh, uh, the fact that you're an Israelite, you know, you gotta repent and you gotta seek out by Shema Shai. 10 times more in the land of your captivity, you know? You're not supposed to be trying to find rest here in America. This is back in Baruch 3 and 7, and it reads, And praise thee in our captivity, for we for we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sin before thee. Yeah, and we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation, you know? The word reincarnation breaks down to re, meaning back in uh, incarnation in the flesh. So what? Back in the flesh. Verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. Yes, yeah, so we are yet this day in our captivity. Whether a brother is in America, whether he's across the four corners of the earth, uh, whether he's in Britain, in Africa. If you're so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, if your bloodline uh, goes back to the sea of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, then what? Uh, you are in your captivity. Why? Because the children of Israel are supposed to be ruling the earth. But we fell from our, uh, we, we discontinued, we, we fell from our glory. Why? Because we broke the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. According to Deuteronomy 28th chapter, which Lord's will I'll get. This is Brute 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yes, yeah, so we are yet this day in our captivity. So what? We're not supposed to be seeking rest. We're supposed to be seeking out by Shema Shai. Just like in the time of Egypt, where we're supposed to be calling onto our Lord, sighing and crying about uh, the afflictions that our, that our people are going through. And how do you sigh and cry? By praying to the Lord, praying to the true names of Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh, and doing videos to the best of your abilities. And following the law, statute, commandments, ultimately making videos and praying to the Lord, you know. Verse 8, and it reads, Brook 3 and 8, where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord. Yes, so now you're being called by words, you're a proverb, you fallen under the, under the curses, you gotta go to your enemy. For, for the one of all things, you know, when I say by word and proverb, what does that mean? Uh, basically, they're calling you a Negro, they're calling you black, they're calling you a spick, they're calling you a Mexican. When what, you're Yasharala, you're a prince of the power, you're the prince, uh, you're, you're the sons of the Heavenly Father, you know, the children of Israel. And it's a curse, what, like I said, we are under the curses. We have fallen under the curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, uh, I believe in verse 15, all the way down to 68. We've fallen under those curses. And to be subject to payments, yes, yeah, so we're under the rule. Uh, we have, to, there's always a payment that we have to pay. That's why we're supposed to be seeking the Lord to get out of this place, you know? Let me read that part again. This is Brute 3 and 8. Which thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our father, our fathers which departed from the Lord. Yes, so our forefathers, which was once again us in the reincarnation, uh, um, departed from the Lord. And what? And in turn, we have been brought to this low estate. So what? If they departed, what do we need to do? We need to uh, seek the Lord. We need to cleave unto Yah by Shema Shai. So what? So these curses can come off us. So Lord's willing. Uh, we be delivered out of America, you know, Lord's only be part of the elect because that's what we're hoping to be Because only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get delivered here out of America This is the book of Isaiah It's lucky if I'm um, talking a little too much. Let me bring the scriptures out. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, so scripture is telling you to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, you know? 
Because what? How do you seek the Lord by the men of great millstone, starting with apostles and elders of great mill, uh, mainly the men of great millstone, starting with apostles and elders, and the men on down? Could you have some brothers, sincere brothers, pushing the same doctrine, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, um, in these other camps? You know, uh, mainly uh, men of valor. Uh, I've seen uh, some sincere brothers from that group. Uh, but that's that's mostly it, you know. I can't uh, speak for any of the other groups, you know. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yes, yeah, so you got to call upon Yahweh by Shema Shah while he is near. While the while the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the scriptures are, are still being taught in the highways and byways. And being posted on the internet. Because soon there's going to be a famine of the word. Soon the doors of mercy are going to be closed. And all those who want to seek rest here in America, their, um, your rest is going to be your demise. Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yeah, so let the wicked of our people, the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans forsake his way. Following after the um, so-called white man and his ways and his false doctrines, you know. And let him return unto the Lord. Yeah, let him repent unto the Lord. What? You turn back sorrowfully. You admit that being proud is wrong. Doing things your way that wasn't working out. So let me see how the Lord wants me to do things. And he will have mercy upon you and to our power. For he will abundantly pardon you. So the Heavenly Father is ultimately going to have mercy on the elect. Because what? The, the elect is going to return. But that should be your desire to be saved out of America to, to get delivered. That's why you gotta seek him, seek uh seek the Lord and not um seek rest in your captivity. This is Brute chapter five verse seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not all from from day to day. And that word tarry basically goes back into wait. Don't wait to seek the Lord, you know. If you have a chance, now is the time to seek the Lord, you know. And don't put off from day to day. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. What's the the most important thing if you're a, a, a child, uh, you're a part of the nation of Israel, you're so-called Negro Latinos and Native American. You, you, the most important thing you can be doing on the earth right now is seeking out by Shema Shai. Not uh, building up, uh, you know, the, your career. The, the most important thing, the number one thing, uh, what does scripture say? Seek ye the kingdom of the most high, and all these things shall be added unto you. So what? You seek the Lord and the, yeah, and the heavenly Father through his only begotten Son is going to take care of everything else. Verse 7, and it reads, Sirach 5 and 7, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Yeah, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You know? Why people are, are, you know, trying to build up their careers, trying to go to school, trying to um, get a promotion or a job. Then suddenly, all of a sudden, the economy is going to crash. World War Three is going to start. The RFID chip is going to be implemented. There's going to be a famine in the land. For suddenly, all because you didn't want to seek the Lord and you wanted to seek rest. In the land of your captivity. The Lord is coming to save the children of Israel. Just uh, the elect. Starting with the elect. Just like he did in the time of Egypt. You know. Except this time he's not bringing the whole nation. He's only bringing those who are sighing and crying. According to uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Shrock 5 and 7. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Yes, yeah, so you're going to perish in the day of vengeance when the Lord's come back and, and exacts his vengeance on the earth, you know? This is, um, it's like, yeah. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw near, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, I'm going to read that from the top. So rock, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Yeah, who's your creator? Yahweh by Shema Shai in the days of your youth. Because the Lord is waking up young men. Uh, who do you see on the internet all the time? Young men. All the time. Who do you see walking down uh, on, uh, on the highways and byways? You see some old heads. But mostly it's young people, you know, uh, the younger generation. The Lord is waking up uh, his men, you know, early 20s, mid 20s. It does, the Lord is raising up uh, young people, the, young men to come and serve him, not people, Salakia, young men. 
of the nation of Israel. While the evil days come not yet before the bad times come, that's when you got to seek the Lord. Nor the years draw near, you know, while the prophecies are, are, are in full in effect, the RFID chip hasn't been made mandatory, uh, martial law hasn't been made mandatory, uh, there isn't there isn't a mass famine, you know, before before the years draw near, before the prophecies are full in effect, you know, because you see a buildup before it hits the climax, you got to make sure you seek the Lord. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, yet yeah, when when the, when when the word of the Lord come to pass, then the Lord is gonna have uh, no pleasure in you. Why? Because you chose uh, to, for America to be your arrest. You know, woe to them that go down to Egypt. You know, which is America, because America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. But you know, Lord's willing. The lesson was edifying. You know, um, so lucky if I was speaking too much. But um, before we go any further, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rekach, Wadash, Double honor, star, apostles, and elders, a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom.